I know there was initially some hesitation with doing television that you then got past. Um, curious, A, what that hesitation was, but B, why this story? Why was this the, the thing that, that brought you to the medium? Oh, well, it wasn't really a hesitation. I mean, it was just pure snobbery. <laughs> um, I was, I'd done a film with Stephen Frears, yes. Florence Foster Jenkins. I was having dinner with him, and he said, what are you doing next? I said, I've got a thing. He said, no, 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 no. I've got to send you something. <laughs> and he sent me this thing, and it was three scripts. I thought, television? <laughs> I don't do television. And, uh, <laughs> and then I read them, and they were brilliant, and I realise everyone does it now. And I, used to, I just can't help having a little hankering for the old days of glamour. And I get it. Cinemas with lots of people in them. Anyway, it's all gone. Um, <laughs> and, and, you know, there's no question that the TV is full of fantastic writing and everything, and this was a, this was a brilliant project. I, I had to say yes, and then uh, spent a nice year panicking about it. What was, what was that panic? Well, I always have a panic. I don't know. I mean, I don't, everyone else does, but uh, yeah, there's fear of failure, mm -hmm. and um, particularly if there's a long delay, it got delayed that project, and I, you know, so I spent a year researching this character. Maybe that helped, but maybe it made me better. I don't know. Uh, it was a yes, a lot of. A, I took a very deep bath in that character, and I, you know, met all the people who'd ever known him, and I read every book, and I watched him on YouTube. It was a dangerous moment when I, I was watching him on YouTube. Um, and realised I could do quite a good imitation of him. Because uh, I kind of do imitations. And I, I thought, is that enough? I thought, no, shit, Ben Whishaw's in it. He'll be doing proper acting. <laughs> <laughs> so then I went into his inner life a bit more. <laughs> it talked to me about watching it with your 89-year-old yes, father. Yes, well, ex-military ex father, um, <laughs> uh, who I have dinner with on Sunday nights. And to my horror, I went round when the show was just coming out on the BBC, and he said, now, wait a minute, isn't your b film on television tonight? <laughs> and I said, um, well, yes, Dad. And he said, well, let's watch it. And I said, no, no, it's not up your alley, Dad. You wouldn't like it, you really. And he said, no, nonsense, I've got a television upstairs. If you show me how to work it, we'll watch it together. <laughs> so I then had to sit there with my old dad and, you know, hmm. watch this thing where I bring Vaseline into the room and <laughs> <laughs> spread it on Ben Whishaw. Poor old Paddington. <laughs> and uh, it was at that point that my father said, well, I think I might go to bed now. <laughs> but uh, Dad, he's classic. I took him to Paddington too, to the premiere in um, Leicester Square in London. And halfway through the film, he turned to me and said, is that a real bear? <laughs> and um, I had to say, well, no, Dad, because he's talking. He's... <laughs> That's how it happens. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> What are your sort of go-to tricks, the things you sort of need to do to get into a role? For me, it's usually one garment. <laughs> uh-huh. Or even the way you wear one garment. For, for this Jeremy Thorpe thing, he was famous for wearing his hats, and I was standing there at Manz's costume place in London for days and days thinking, what the fuck is wrong here? I'm dressed just like Jeremy Thorpe. I'm wearing the same hat. I can't get it right. I can't, I can't see him. I can't see him. And then uh, one of the guys there said, just, just tilt it back two inches. Bingo, there it was. <laughs> yeah. And, uh, yeah, and then uh, everything started to fall into place. Huh. I took the hat home, and when I was sort of studying the part, I'd wear it, and I, I could see him feel him. Hugh, you had also said that you have, you permanently have an inferiority complex because you are, and I am putting this in quotes, so you know that you said this and not me, <laughs> just the guy from romantic co comedies. Is that real? I mean, you, really, you feel that way? Well, uh, yes, I did. A bit less now, because, I, you know, I got too old and ugly and fat to do them anymore. And <laughs> so now I've done other things, and um, I feel I've got a marginally less self-hatred than I had before. <laughs> Most of those romantic comedies I can look squarely in the face. One or two of shockers, but uh, <laughs> on the whole, I can look them in the face. And, and people like them, and I'm a big believer in... Um, that our job is to entertain. I, I see us as craftsmen along with the guy who does the lights and the guy who edits and, and the guy who pushes the dolly to make an entertainment to entertain people. And Because if it's not that, I think it's a bit masturbatory. Can what? I say masturbatory? You, you, uh, you can't, you did and you can. Say it again, yeah. masturbatory. Hi, I'm Sam Rockwell. Hi, I'm Stefan James. Hola, I'm Diego Luna. Hey, I'm Billy Porter and thank you for watching. Thank you for watching The Hollywood Reporter. Hollywood Reporter. The Hollywood Reporter Roundtables on YouTube. On YouTube. On YouTube. <laughs>